And now it's time for the Valley Regional Healthcare Prescription Playbook. And Brett, we have the second half of the video with Dr. Ergen from Valley Regional Healthcare, the Prescription Playbook. Teddy Bridgewater will talk about, uh, or he will talk about the psychology after a big injury. That's got to be something that is always on the back of your mind. Well, I think Tom Brady had that coming off his knee injury uh, several years ago, and even he admitted he was a little bit hesitant coming back from that knee injury. So absolutely, the psychology part of coming off a serious right. injury like Ted, Teddy Bridgewater, that's going to be a big factor. All right, Dr. Ergen, let's take a look. Well, it, it, it psychologically definitely affects the players, and, and some of them never really, really get back to it because they're uh, they're worried too much about the injury to perform at the highest level that they need to on the field. Most do now, but uh, but even uh, most of the studies essentially show for an ACL reconstruction, about 80% of people will get back to their previous level of activity. Uh, and that that doesn't change just because you're a high-level athlete. The first year back, they definitely do, because particularly after an ACL tear, um, I, I, I often will point to uh, 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 Johnny Dawkins, who was playing with the Philadelphia 76ers back when I was doing my fellowship in Philadelphia and tore his ACL. And he came back the following year and played, and you could tell he just didn't have the explosion and the cutting and the planting ability off of that leg, and he was favoring it. And the following year, at about, eight, about 18 months to two years after the surgery, he was back to normal, and you couldn't really tell which knee was, was injured. I don't know if you, you noticed, but an offensive lineman will often have braces on their knees, even, and, and, you know, you can look at the whole offensive line, and everybody's got a brace on their knee, and you wonder, do they all hurt their knees? And a lot of, uh, no, there are some places, some people that believe that um, offensive linemen's knees can be better protected by wearing the braces prophylactically. Um, the data on that is a little bit sketchy. There are some studies that support that, others that don't, but there's really no downside for an offensive lineman to wear it, and so many of them do. There really isn't anything that's gonna speed recovery, but what you do wanna do is minimize inflammation postoperatively, so we'll, or, or even right after injury. So often we'll use anti-inflammatory medications, but the best medication is ice to reduce swelling and inflammation. With with a, a complicated knee injury like, like, um, like uh, Teddy Bridgewater had, um, a lot of times the running starts in water. So there'll be a treadmill that's, that's in a tank so that you're eliminating the body weight and just getting used to the knee moving and, and performing sort of normal activities but without body weight stress on it. It's 50-50. It's if the surgery is done badly, it doesn't matter how good the rehab is. And if the surgery is done well and the rehab's poor, you're going to still have a bad outcome. You kind of have to do both things. And, and that's where one of... One of the things that uh, I'll tell patients is that, you know, I, I have to work very hard for two hours, but you have to work very hard for several months. And thanks to Dr. Ergen of Valley Regional Healthcare, the prescription playbook, and that's every week. So the psychology, a big thing, which is bigger in your estimation of the physical or the mental, or is it kind of equal when you're getting back onto the field? Because the physical, you know, you have your routine, you have your regimen, and you think, okay, I can do this. So the mental is not really a prescription, so to speak. Right. Uh, I think it's more so the mental part of it. Uh, the physical part of it, today's modern medicine, you're a little, you know, these, not that these are routine operations. Right, but, but they're much more routine. The, the, rubber, the recovery time's a little bit quicker, but I think especially for a quarterback standing in the pocket, you got 300-pound guys bearing down on you. I think that part's going to be a big or is a big thing with anybody coming off a knee injury. And even Rob Gronkowski said it coming off his knee injury. I mean, every time he gets tackled, you're like, oh my goodness, is right. he going to be, is he going to get up from it? But yeah, psychology part, I think, is a little bit bigger than the actual physical part. And we'll see early on in the season, preseason or whatever, the first hits that Teddy Bridgewater takes or the first time he runs, because if he's thinking about it and it's in his mind, he'll be playing a little bit differently, tensing up or preparing for a hit, and that's never good because you're always thinking of something else other than what you're supposed to be doing. So it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see if he's even the quarterback next year right. in Minnesota. We'll take our final break. When we come back, we have a lot of college basketball, some local stuff, some regional stuff. And, of course, the NCAA tournament is right up the road in a few weeks. You're watching YCN Sports Talk.